Oh, hey, Shirley Rocks here. So, Planet Crafter, do you remember me playing this? Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I might have played a little bit more. So, as you can see, you're up to 43 million terraformation at the moment. I've got, oh, I've got so many goodies. Uh, I've got some nom noms here. And I've come to a realisation. The best food in the world is beans. Now, being British, baked beans is part of my life. I love baked beans. These restore 60 health. They're so much better than anything else. The packaged meals I've got give me 40. Beans are life. Beans give me 60. They're so good. Now, I'm wondering what to show you. I think I'm going to show you my base in this video because I've got loads of I've got loads of exciting stuff to show you. So we've got new recipes and new things. Now, first of all, let me just empty some of my junk. Well, I say junk. I've done a little bit of organizing. So my cupboards are slightly more organized. We've still got random stuff in here like this, though. So we are we are slowly making it a bit a bit nicer. Um, I'm putting random stuff in here. As you can see, I've got a load of that osmium I've collected. I've collected it in the cave. And that's the only place I've found it so far. So let me just do a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some beans now. Lovely. Then I'm gonna, gonna go and get a little drink of water. I've got I've got so much water that water's just like I don't even worry about it anymore. So let's go and talk about the base. We'll look at it from the outside first because. There's been, there's been a few changes, so I've got me miners over here, and then I've got me power stations here. I think I've got four. One, two, three, four. Oh, maybe we've got five. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, we've got five. <laughs> we've gone totally nuclear. Now, my base might look a bit different because... I've got a couple of extra domes on it. Now, believe it or not, as, as beautiful as this looks, these are an absolute pain to fit because I couldn't put these on the flat floor. Now, granted, I might have been able to put these on a foundation grid, but I wanted to connect them to my existing base, so we've got it like that. It doesn't look the nicest. In fact, I'm glad this game isn't realistic because, look, I've got my solar panels and I've got me I've got my thing on top of it. Now, the only way we can get into it now is from in here. So, let's go and show you. Oh, I did this. I built a bed as well to see if it did anything. It, it didn't. And I built this as well. Built a flower pot. Now, a flower pot uses fertilizer, which I was like, I'm not building one of them because they're just visual things. Look, at the, look how much this gives me. That gives me oxygen, 5.0 ppqs. Whereas, if I look outside at the equivalent ones, that gives me... 52 so apart from it looking cool and floating um yeah don't need to do it i've got me little uh me little things here as well but these are pretty cool so we've got a little model rocket we've got a little um little pod there right so we need to go upstairs okay now this this annoys me this triggers me when i was building this for some reason this isn't flat so look when i walk between rooms this is fine i walk to this room there's that right so we've got some mushroom production going on here now i'm gonna collect these and i'll show you why because we've got um a little room here so which one is this this is the this is a biodome and we've got another biodome i think we need to go up for the other one so this one is the one that just pumps out oxygen. Now, all this one does is it, it pumps out oxygen. I thought it was like I could go to this computer and do something. No, it's just giving me, it's basically showing me this sort of stuff. So yeah, um, as you can see, we've got biomass is going up at the moment. We've got plants going up. I'll show you how and why in a second. We're going to show you the next tier now so we need to go up a floor okay and this is the latest edition so this is the what's it called again it's a it says living compartment no it's not it's not 
That is quite clearly not a living compartment. It is the Biodome Tech 2. So this generates tree barks. So that's how we built it. We needed two fertilizer, bacteria sample, super alloy and sulfur. All right, so we must be able to, wait a minute. How did I build the, um, okay. This one has tree bark. I don't know what use it is, so I'm not really collecting it at the moment, but we seem to be able to collect it from there and there. I think it's the same point though. Right, I, wanna, I wanna show you my, my bio lab. I've lost me bio lab. <laughs> where, where, where did I put me bio lab? Have I been an idiot and disassembled it? Do you know what? I think I have. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Be right back. I need to find me bio lab. Okay, I'm gonna build my bio lab back up again. So I'm just gonna stick it on the back. Okay, so that's what me funky new bio lab looks like from the outside. I think I was redesigning the base before I recorded this, and I must have. Um, before I did my power, I've, I've uh, slightly moved it and broken it. So this is the uh, bio lab. So this is quite an interesting lab. So this is where we discovered uh, I discovered fertilizer it isn't as rare as I thought it was, because I can make fertilizer with algae uh, or algae, so sulfur and eggplants. Now we can also make the bio nuggets. So we need two mushrooms, silicon and water bottle to do that. And we can also make bio lab, well, bacteria samples, which is that. So three of those, three of those. I've also got explosives. I've not tried making that yet. I don't know what use that is. I've also got fertilizer tech too. I need something called methane for that though. So that's not gonna get done in a little bit. And we've also got mutagen used in the DNA manipulator. So. That is how I've been making stuff, and that's why I've got so many mushrooms and how I've got loads of uh, stuff in here. Now, it did say I could build a new rocket then, so I want to go and check my power. So, hmm, I can get another five units of power, and I'm going to be in power issues again, so... Still waiting for the next nuclear reactor to unlock. Um, I, I would like to build another rocket though. Um, what should I do? I'll tell you what, I'll go and do a tour of the base. I'm gonna show you the other stuff that I built. So that's the main base which we built. Okay, I'll show you the water. So as you can see, well, let me go and get a drink first. So as you can see, water is spreading. I think I've made the right choice before I built it. It doesn't look like it's gonna go any higher than that because where these sandbanks are. It's obviously been watery before. Now, we've got some cool things over here. So over there, we built the the thing for making al algae, which was tech one of these. Now we've got tech two. So tech one, are harder to build, but they produce more. So if you look at this, that produces 0.8 plants, that produces 23 a second plants. Now we can come over to these. So as you can see, that is tech two. These are just bob around on here. As you can see, I'm getting produ producing loads of this. Now, the interesting thing about these is the bits that hang down, you can come up to them and collect the uh, bits of algae. Uh, I'm not going to do it at the moment because it'll take all my inventory as base up, but that's what we've been doing over there. Let me get out the water. Why are we, why are we just bobbing along? So I, wanna, I just wanted to show the extent of the water now because this is really expanding. Look. It's coming to places I didn't even know it had rise. And the old base is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the old base. So if you remember the last time, the old base was near this crashed ship. And then we had these rocks on the horizon here. Just look how far this is extended now. So we'll get up high. Just look at this. Right. It's all the way over there, and you can't even see my old pod. Look, it's still there. 
glug 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 glug. Look, look, look how look how deep it is now. It's all the way over here. It's completely submerged in the water. Now I've not got any fish or anything in the water yet. I reckon eventually we'll get fish in this water. But look, there's my old base. That's this is where we landed. Look, it's, it works underwater though. Have we got any? Let's check my mail while I'm here. Okay, we're not going. To, we're not going to mail yet. So as you can see, the base has come on quite a bit. Now, what I'm thinking I might do is I'm going to hopefully drown in the water. No, I'm going to get some more power up, get another rocket up, the the, the rocket uh, building station because. I think there is a chance for me to build a new type of rocket and I'm going to, yeah, let's just do that first of all so I do not die. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to build another rocket and then we'll look in the next episode at the plant feature because it did say there's a chance for me to do plants. So I think that'd be pretty interesting. And this this has just been a quick little look at the base, how we're getting on. So we're, we seem to be progressing nicely now. I don't know if I'm pro progressing at a decent rate, but we are progressing. Um, so next episode, I think I'm going to look into building a rocket. And also I want to do mining because we can do mining now. And I want to see if I can do... Mining to get some of the resources to see what we can get. So we're going to try and build an ore extractor. So that is it for now. This is the Planet Crafter. I'm Shirley Rocks. This is my crib. Thank you for watching. See you next time.